So, Mayor, thanks, thanks for taking the time uh, today. These, this package of bills that includes this pilot uh, payment program is really critical, but it's languishing there on the governor's desk. It is. Um, and, and so, you know, there's lots of, of balls that were in the air in order to bring Atlantic City back. Um, some of them we've taken care of here locally. What's critical for us in, in Atlantic City is the $30 million that was going to the Atlantic City Alliance. Which is uh, a marketing the state entity. Of Rangers, marketing mm -hmm. entity. Not spent this year, so uh, they, the casinos have it. They've not spent it. It's important for that bill to go through, for us to be able to use that for debt uh, reduction. That and money would go to the municipality and not to the ACA any longer. That's correct. But the so pilots is the big thing, right? I mean, the pilots the pilot, can go either way. We should pilot, say pilots is payments in lieu of taxes. That is. And, and so it was $120 million. And the advantage is that it locks in the casinos without tax appeals. This it 120 million, just so that we explain, yeah. to folks, is 120 million dollars that the casinos have collectively agreed to pay in lieu of property taxes, tax. Property and taxes. so right now the casinos are paying 128 million dollars in property taxes. So you would think, you know, uh, apples to apples, why would you turn in 128 for 120? And, and the reason is because the 120 would be guaranteed because there'd be no tax appeals. Right. And the question is, uh, does the pilot have enough uh, uh, legitimacy? Or are casinos or someone else going to sue us over the? That's a question that has to be asked. So that's why I said we're waiting to see what happens. The governor has a couple of choices. He can pass them, can do nothing. And when the assembly returns after elections, they'll become law. Uh, he can veto them, or he can line veto, or he can pass some of the. Uh, uh, and and so ultimately, what what the real question is here? If they they don't institute this pilot program, then your fear and the fear of most everybody looking at this is that the casinos will then start to appeal their taxes and this 120 million that the city thinks it's going to get could be considerably less, almost half if everybody appealed, right? Well, we'd have to see what happens with Mr. Icon yeah. and what's going to happen with that. But that has been uh, my concern personally. If Mr. Icon, who the Trump properties owe $250 million, becomes the owner of the Trump properties, we have them valued at $590 million. Mr. Icon is going to say they're only worth $250 million. It's about 43% of, of the 590. So if his taxes drop 57%, then every other casino is going to say, if, if that property is only worth 43%, I'm next door, or I'm down the, the block, mine's worth 43% too. That, that's what, what uh, makes us all very That's nervous. almost a doomsday scenario, because if you think there was pain now with 50% tax increases and 40% cuts in services. Absolutely what happens in the wake of right. that. Right. And you know, our library also, they cut 50% of their cost. Even our uh, business improvement district, the uh, local SIT cut $2 million. So we've all adjusted to realizing that the money that we had a few years ago isn't here anymore. But, but we've adjusted that, but we really do need this part from the state to, to make us whole. It took a, a long time. I mean, uh, uh, Senator President Sweeney had to work long and hard to get the support from the Senate and then the support from the assembly as well. So uh, we went through months, um, almost a year, to get those bills and then to the governor. And the casino industry had to agree on what that would be. So if they change now, my fear is that, that uh, you know, we languish back six or eight or nine months. Let me ask you this. What's your sense of the likelihood that you're going to see this plan of pilots go forward. So I'm not a betting man. I know that sounds funny for the mayor of Atlantic right. City, but I, I don't gamble. I, I'm a conservative. I make good, hard decisions. Uh, every day there's a crisis, and you deal with the uh, crisis. So I, I don't know what's going to happen, but we have to be prepared either way. But is this conservative mayor optimistic or pessimistic? I, I'm optimistic that we're going to be able to balance the 2015 budget uh, with the help of the state. Uh, I don't know whether it's going to take the current um, format of, of the five bills that are there or a different format. But I, I really do think that everyone in, in Trenton, on the governor's side, on the legislative side, is trying to help us. And I think they see that we're trying to help ourselves as well. So we have a lot of, of these balls that are, are coming uh, our way, uh, but we've got to do something with these bills. All right. Mayor Don Guardian, thanks very much. Thank you.